you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Do I have everybody's attention now? Move 100 meters. Now today I'm gonna be playing some Arma 3 and already I can tell it's gonna be a pretty hardcore game because you're able to lean with Q and E and in the modern day of first person shooters which are pretty much consolized and you know easy to play they don't like to lean much anymore. Now the graphics there are pretty damn good I mean it's still an alpha so things are popping up all over the place and being retextured and everything but for the most part they're pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the whole motion blur thing and I'm pretty sure the alpha doesn't include SLI support so I'm not getting the performance I'd like. Now funny is this game is so wild and so simulation like that when you're prone and you try to lean it'll just flip you over because you actually with the holding a real gun just couldn't lean left and right. So I'm running at high settings right now the frame rate is pretty much anywhere between 40 and 60 and as you all know I run an i5 2500k overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz 8 gigabytes of RAM and I use two GTX 560 Ti's 2 gigabyte models but seeing how it's an alpha I doubt it's using SLI so I'm gonna assume that I'm only gonna be able to use one card right now so the game really isn't all that well optimized but it still looks good as you can see there's a little pop in now already what I don't like about this game is the aiming you can zoom in, but there is no sighted aim or anything like that, and your targeting reticle is huge. Not to mention that the recoil is heavy. So how the hell are you supposed to hit anything? I've never played Arma. I'm not a veteran of this game. I've played plenty of games in my life, but it seems pretty, you know, cumbersome. Even when going prone or crouching down, your targeting reticle doesn't really shrink all too greatly. It's like ridiculous. Now it only takes like one, two, three shots to kill somebody even on single burst but it's absolutely ridiculous. Now you also have crouching, prone, running, turbo. You're not allowed to move and shoot unless you're moving with combat speed so you're gonna be moving around hitting buttons like Z, X, C, things of that nature. It's, it's very cumbersome. It's not overly complicated but it makes it so you're thinking about way too many things rather than enjoying the game for my taste anyway. As you can see I'm shooting these guys from afar. I don't even know if I'm hitting them or not. There's no hit markers or anything. There's no I hit them or any particular sounds or anything like that. Now I'm prone. My targeting reticle is really tiny now and I'm popping in bullets, I'm popping in bullets, I'm popping in bullets. Keep in mind I'm using single fire, not even automatic and Nothing seems to be getting hit. So I'm gonna be like, the hell with it. I'm just gonna throw a grenade out there. I'm gonna hit something. I'm gonna throw a grenade out there. I mean, maybe this game isn't for the casual people. Maybe this game isn't even for the hardcore people. This game right here is probably for the enthusiast people only because I have no idea or no clue what's going on here. And I put a couple hours into this game and really it hasn't really changed maybe I'm gonna have to get on YouTube or talk to Feral Instincts, Dream 308 or Foxtrot watch a few tutorials or anything because nothing in this game is really well explained or anything like that and you know for a big name title on the PC I mean I know the DayZ mod is huge and here again shooting shooting can't hit anything can't hit anything and don't even think about trying to run up on somebody and shoot him. You will get put down in one, two shots easily. But the grass looks okay. And it sways and everything. When you crawl over it, bends. Ooh, that's all cool. <laughs> now, your AI-assisted people are pretty okay. Now, right now they're telling me that you need to heal up or patch yourself up. There's a medic in the squad, but he doesn't seem to be patching me up, so... I'm in the option menu right now looking for anything that's use med kit, use bandages, heal or anything and I don't see anything. So maybe I'm just hurt and they're, you know, just, you know, banter and chatter saying that, oh, I need to heal myself up, but I can't find anything. So maybe it's just, you know, when your AI teammates are like enemy over there 
reloading this and that whatever and another thing that really aggravates me about this game you have a clock it says 12 o'clock 3 o'clock 9 o'clock 6 o'clock up down left right from your current position but when you're getting attacked your leader doesn't tell you enemies coming from 3 o'clock enemies coming from 12 o'clock 9 o'clock he tells you enemies coming from the north coming from the south coming from the east coming from the west yet there is no map on the HUD or anything like that so if you were to tell me something like that I would need to you know go into my map hit M while I'm getting shot at it's just dumb there needs to be a map or there needs to be a compass at the bottom that way if they said north south east or west I would know now that's a guy sitting right there not moving shot four times missed him now I gotta go prone just to get a shot just to kill him still trying to shoot him unbelievable this game is not like I don't know I thought the game would be something completely different I thought it would be more of a Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3 maybe a lot less casual a little more simulation a little more technical and everything but this is just its own entirely different beast altogether and what I mean Battlefield 2 and 3 I meant like you know big open expansive not like cause come on people we all know that Call of Duty is the most casual first person shooter out there and Battlefield 3 is pretty casual compared to Battlefield 2 as well but Battlefield 3 is still a solid game and look I am shooting this guy again and cannot hit a damn thing and the recoil is ridiculous in this game which is all cool I have no problem for what this game is doing for how it's trying to be a simulation, for how it's trying to go for realism or anything, and I don't want this game to be changed or compromised or anything to fit the taste of somebody like me because clearly this game isn't for anybody like me. So the game's not for me. Make it for the people that it is made for. Do not cater to somebody like me because then you're just going to ruin the vision of your game. I understand that this game is probably a very good game, but clearly it does not appeal to me I am turning around like an idiot looking for whatever I need to do because I'm not getting any clear orders I have two people left to my squad I could have sworn that I had five people so I had to wait around literally for three minutes for these guys to tell me that they spotted these artillery spotters up here yeah I need spotters to spot the spotters so it tells me, you know, I have a map and I can go ahead and look and really the map isn't even detailed. I mean, a grade school kid could open up a map in Battlefield 3 and know where to go. Open up a map in Arma, th Arma 3 or Arma 3 Alpha Light or whatever they're calling this, Beta Light, Beta Edition, Alpha Edition, and you don't know what the hell to do. So I see these numbers pop up. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run all the way over there. That's exactly what I'm going to do. At least your character is able to run significantly fast in this game. But try moving and shooting? Uh, that's not going to happen. You can't move. You can't really move and shoot. I mean, I guess that's realistic. That tree back there looks pretty damn cool. I mean, some of the things look amazing in this game. And other things in this game just look like they're pop, but it's an alpha, but this game's got a long way to go, people. And I hear they're working on, you know, the Daisy standalone and things like that, but this game has a long way to go, in my opinion, at least. So after running three miles all the way up here, I, you know, I'm in the combat walk speed where I can move and shoot, and these dudes are just chilling there, and I shoot them. I can actually shoot people that are five feet in front of me. Congratulations, Black Bond. Now, the draw distances are pretty good right here. Like I said, I'm running the game on high. Um, there's normal, high, very high, and ultra. The game is not optimized while the game looks goddamn phenomenal and amazing. Ultra, what can I say? I mean, it looks awesome, but... But one GTX 560 Ti definitely not going to be able to achieve that in anything playable. And even when you up or down the settings, the performance pretty much is 
still the same. So I guess I got bugs and things to work out. And I'm about to complete this mission, which was entirely boring. This was supposed to teach the player about infantry battles and commands and things like that. And I felt like I learned nothing. I walked up, shot a few people, did not show me any hints or tips on how to aim or how to better play the game. Nothing. Which makes it even worse because now you come to the scuba diving right. mission. Now, once again, graphics look pretty damn good. Grass is swaying, and this is on high. Not very high, not ultra. So what we're going to do today, right here it is, we get to dive into the water, into the ocean, or wherever the hell we're at, the pond, the lake. I'm going to assume it's at least a gulf or an ocean or something. And we get to go down in here, and we're going to find some, you know, those little bomb things that are hooked on by chains and float at the top and stop boats and everything from landing on shore. So right now, you know, the swimming is pretty cool. And you get to go into, you know, a little external camera mode. Flippers and everything. You got fish and wildlife and sand. Nice little catchy soundtrack going on. You can swim left and right. The movement is pretty realistic. Can't complain. And that seems to be a turtle right there. Let's see if we can shoot it. Yes, we can. Poor little turtle. See, even when you're, you know, backpedaling with your flippers and everything, it shows your gun, it shows your legs, your flippers. That's cool. That's a feature that... Would that come in Halo 2 when you look down, you can see your feet and things like that, and you're not just like seeing the ground. So oh, we're gonna keep swimming and swimming and swimming. And you know, even the environments on the ground are are pretty damn good, I must say so myself. I mean, you got like the rock and the reef and the seaweed and everything and the coral. And now here is where the game just annoyed me to the point where I'm probably just gonna uninstall it. It says I need to call in an artillery strike. An artillery strike, not strike. So you think, you know, you just, you know, click artillery strike, click on the thing you want to hit, hit it, and you'd be done. But oh no, you can't click on it because it says you need the proper coordinates. I didn't know that targeting what I want to hit is not a proper coordinate. So what do I do? I'm going to walk right underneath this thing. Because I've already played this before and been driven out of my mind. And I'm going to pick something that is literally right underneath it. See, still doesn't work. It's telling me it doesn't work. I need coordinates or incorrect coordinates or whatever. So maybe I can pick a fish that's like right next to it. And the explosion will just boom, hit it. Let me back away. But the funny thing is, nothing happens, and I sat around here swimming and restarting for a half an hour, and still couldn't hit the damn thing, so... As of now, I don't like this game. The game's a joke. I'll catch you guys later.